Well, we've got the window all in and sealed up and foamed and caulked. And we've got to do the bottom and blend the siding in. So my plan, I hope, is to bring this piece that's cut out, move this whole trim piece up, and I'm hoping this will fit right in there. If I have to cut a little bit more out, it's okay. So we have to make it fit. Uh, first thing we got to do is fix the little hole. Now I've got a piece, a piece, there's a piece here, a piece here, and a piece here, so this one can stay. I've got uh, one of these little deals here. Uh, where are we? It's a drywall tool, or a siding tool. And uh, they're kind of the bane of my existence. I'm not the most experienced at this. But the little hook on it, if I can get it slid up under there. There, and that just pulls it under it. Oh, that brought up. We can now get under here and start unnailing the siding. not lose too many nails in the gravel and start stripping the siding down layer by layer row by row And this is what my little exploration hole revealed. Rotted out. But there's an edge here, and it's okay on that side. And the next stud over, it's okay on that side. So I just got a little piece to replace there. So overall, it could have been a lot worse. So I need a piece uh, 16 by. 25 and a half, and we'll be fine. So what I ended up doing is I opened up an extra bay, uh, 32 inches, just to make sure it was all solid in there, but you know, might as well while I'm at it. I've replaced the fiberglass insulation with Rockwell insulation. Again, I had it, and just to make sure, and now I have a piece of pressure treated plywood. And that will go in there. Make sure I know where the, the stud is here. And we'll get that screwed into place. There we are, all patched up and solid and ready to start the job that we started to do at the starting. If you can get that. Got my starter strip on for my vinyl siding. I think I can put the first strip on back on. So this was the piece that was cut out under the old window. I'm going to have to cut off about that much to get it under the new window. When it's moved up into its new place. So that one piece has still got to come out and the original piece putting in, but that's going to be when I start on the second window. As far as before that window, I think it's all tied in pretty well. There's all the siding. Right in up to that window. And the trim around the window. Not perfect, I know where all the mistakes are. but. It's working. I believe the litmus test is, are you going to be able to tell that a longer window was in there? 
And uh, I think the answer is no. It'll look like that window was there all the time. Well, we've got the siding in. And this is kind of the view angle. The hedge is right here, so you don't get too close to it. That's the edge of the property. But it was like doing a jigsaw puzzle, and it's not one of my things is jigsaw puzzles. Let me get around the meter here. And try to give you a smooth ride. But there's the view angle. And you really can't see it from the road that much because of the trees. So rarely seen part of it. One thing I did discover is, let me zoom you in here, come on, zoom. I got some wasps getting in there. I don't know if they're showing up on the picture, but. There's some wasps getting in there. There they are. I'm gonna have to do something about that. Maybe after it gets cold. So we gotta trim the windows. Now, the trim on my vents is like that. And the trim on my front window is like that. So, it's just pressure treated wood. I'm going to take the easy way and do this side, those four windows, the exact same way. I ran out and bought some pressure treated wood for that one to match. And uh, I don't need it all right now. So, Two pieces, and I'm going to cut them oversized just to make them a little easier to handle. Small shop. I've set my table saw up about two and five eighths, tested on a scrap piece of wood, pretty close to the middle. So we're going to rip these boards. And with all the rough stock cut to length, we'll put all the cut ends up and we'll slap on some wood preservative. And this is just a clear one. And we'll let that 
soak in for a good long time. And the outside of the windows are done. And this is probably the best view that anybody's going to get of them. Remember, I said I was going to do them like that. So we'll take a walk down there. And there's some discrepancies, but you know, it looks all right. The original windows were put in like mobile home windows. And I see my battery's dying. But we got them all in. And we got them cocked. And we make sure we didn't plug up the wee poles when we put the caulking in. And the last one. So there they are. All my windows are done on the outside. Got to do the inside now.